Hello my friend, this is just a quick video to try and help you out here with your problem with the non-start and the fuse blowing on your BMW uh, 320D. So <clears throat> I, I'm assuming mine is exactly the same. So I think that if the fuse you're referring to is this in this little box here, one of them, I think it's either a 20 or 30 amp. Now I had a quick look at the wire diagram and it just came up with saying for the ECU. So there was four individual components that I could see that was on this. So I think we'll start with the easiest one first. So the first the first component that was fed with this fuse is the air mass meter. So I think the easiest thing for you to do here is disconnect that, try another fuse and see if it doesn't pop. If the fuse doesn't pop, it must be a, a fault within the air mass meter. The second easiest place to try was the, that circuit also feeds the EGR, the EGR solenoid valve, which is just down there, I don't know if you can see that, it's just with the wee electrical connectors on it. Just that one. There, you can see that pin, so disconnect that, and see if the fuse doesn't blow after disconnecting that. And then the third one, which is a bit more hassle to get into, was you have to take this, this cowling off here. And it's at the very end, this is the fuel pressure sensor. But at the other end of this uh, rail, there is a, there's a quantity adjuster, I think they call it. So disconnect that and see how you're going with that. But before that, just remember there's an easier one to get it. This one here, let me see, this wire here, that's the inlet metering valve, disconnect that and see if the fuse stops blowing. So that'd be your next easiest one. And then it'd be that one up the back there after you take this off. And then the last one is to do with the turbocharger regulating valve. Now I couldn't actually find that, but it says it's near, it says it's near the turret. And I'm sure the turbocharger just resides in here. So if I can get any information, I'll put it in the, the video. But that fuse, as far as I can see from a wiring diagram, uh, feeds, is that, so that's five components. So it's uh, the EGR bit down there, then the, the fuel inlet metering, then it's uh, the air mass meter, and then as I said, it's uh, the pressure adjustment at the end of this reel, but you must take that off. And oh, the last thing, the camshaft sensor. It feeds the camshaft sensor as well with 12 volts, so probably this is your easiest one to start with. So one, go for that one first, then that one, then that one in there, then down for the EGR valve, and then the last one would be at the end of the rail. So you're just, it's like a test that you're just going to keep chasing that till you see why the, the, the fuse is blowing. Or else it could be wiring in between. So I'm just trying to see where the wiring goes here. Seems to go around the back and feeds up up the top there. Maybe a good wiggle at the wire and you could try that as well. Anyway, hope that helps. Cheers.